Another update tonight, this one following a recent CARE 11 investigation. That investigation exposed veterans being denied access to private medical care promised to them under the Veterans Health Choice Program. Today, the VA took action. Investigative reporter AJ Legault joins us tonight with the update. AJ? Julie, we're not crows, we can't fly, and when we need to see a doctor, we take a car. That's the message veterans from all across the country have been sending to the CARE 11 investigative unit since we first started reporting on the Veterans Choice Program and how the VA was measuring veterans travel distances using as the crow flies mileage. Today, the VA swapped out that measuring stick. I'm not eligible under mileage. That's Air Force veteran Paul Walker, who's dying of liver cancer being told he's not eligible through the Veterans Choice Program for cancer treatment closer to his Big Lake, Minnesota home. I tried using it and I got flatly turned down. Veterans like Paul and Mark Gendron, who have to drive long distances to get to a VA hospital, have been finding themselves left out in the cold by the Choice Program that was part of the Veterans Access, Choice and Accountability Act signed last August by President Obama. Why would they give everybody a card and say that this health care is available outside the VA if you can't use it? In the wake of our investigation, Congressman Tim Walls and Senator Al Franken fired off letters to VA Secretary Robert McDonald, citing CARE 11's report and calling for changes. Just last night, John Stewart's The Daily Show harpooned the VA over the choice program. Paul Walker thought he was a perfect candidate for the new VA choice program. Unless the next part of that sentence is, and it turned out he was playing clips from our happened. report. But I have cancer. <laughs> Wouldn't happen to be tooth cancer, would it? <laughs> We're just, come on, what's the deal, VA? Today in a Senate hearing, the VA announced it was changing the way they measure the 40-mile rule. We're going to change the distance criteria from straight line to travel distance. The rule change announced today commendably relies on common sense rather than flying crows and assessing the real life consequences to veterans. It's progress. It's a While disabled veteran and Minnesota attorney Ben Krause applauds the change. We're not a crow and when frankly we're, we're glad in this instance that the crow's finally dead. He and other veterans believe more changes to the program are still needed. For example, Paul Walker still won't be able to get the cancer treatment he needs. While the Minneapolis VA is more than 40 miles away by car, the VA outpatient clinic in Ramsey is much closer. They don't offer cancer treatment, but the VA still claims that nearby clinic exempts Paul from the choice program. You can't get health care at a particular facility that it shouldn't count. Lawmakers at today's hearing seem to agree and promised quick action. So if there is a legislative impediment, let's fix it. Let's get it done because our intent is to see to it the veterans get the service. Yes. Now, and I the VA claims today's change to the 40-mile rule will roughly double the number of veterans eligible for the CHOICE program, as well as double the estimated $10 billion price tag. Both Senator Franken and Congressman Walls issued statements today about the VA changes. You can read those at care11.com. Julie. Glad to see some change coming. Certainly. It's frustrating how long you have to wait, though. Thank you, AJ. Yeah. Great reporting.